Right, good afternoon everybody, and I say afternoon because it's afternoon for me, it's 20 past 2, I don't know what time it is where you are, so apologies if I've confused you and you're watching this in the middle of the night after a few beers and I've just said good afternoon. If you are watching this in the middle of the night after a few beers, um, why? It's about watches, for goodness sake. Go to sleep or go and watch some porn or something. Anyway, this is a quick video about the Casio Royale. Um, or the AE1200WH. There we go, there's the part number on the back. Um, but first of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. Um, why is it called the Casio Royale? Well, it's called the Casio Royale because James Bond never wore a watch like this in Casino Royale. In fact, he never wore a Casio, he wore a Seiko that looks similar to this. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it up on the screen. And he wore it in Octopussy. So, there you go. Um, and, did you notice how I set my uh, gauge to, say, 007? Yeah. Right. So, let's have a quick look at the watch. It does come in a few different varieties. I've got two, as you can see here. One in the sort of like metallic look and then the uh, sort of more traditional black resin strap that uh, is pretty synonymous with most sort of digital watches really. Um, so this one originally came with this strap and as you can see I'd adjusted it and got it nicely to my size. Nice bit of Casio branding on there as you can see. Very nice actually. Bit sort of jangly. However, I thought it looked nice with a leather strap with the stitching on. So I think I paid about 12 quid for this strap. It's real nice. Um, as you can see, it's been quite well worn. It's nicely shaped to my wrist now. Um, yeah, very nice. Um, however, you can't get a leather strap with this kind of um, this kind of fitting on. So what I've actually bought here, just if you're interested in doing something like this, is I've got a 24 mil lug-to-lug -lug leather strap and I've taken a rather sharp hobby knife and I've cut this bit down to the 18 mil that goes into there so kind of custom made that map that to fit really uh, definitely worth doing it's uh, it looks nice and I've done this kind of mod to a couple of a uh, couple of watches now so there we go it's the Casio Royale let's have a quick look what the features are um, First of all, it tells you the time, obviously, and it actually is a world time watch, so it tells you the time all over the world. You have alarms. This one actually has five alarms, and um, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, and this final one here, uh, on or off, basically is the, um, uh, the hourly chime. So plenty of alarm functions. You've got a timer, and you can set this timer from, I think you can set it from 24 hours, uh, if you want to but uh, 10 minutes quite a handy little one just to have if you're doing some cooking doing some sort of uh, exercise whatever it might be and you just just the opposite of a stopwatch really you start at 10 and you count down talking of timing you've then got a stopwatch as you'd expect start stop reset split all those useful things and then back to the start very nice very functional watch and I think for, as I said, sort of 25, 30 quid, I think it looks really, really stylish. I really like it. Um, my wrist is about six and three quarter inches and I'm just gonna pop this on so you can see what it looks like for me. I think that looks really smart. So yeah, so that's the, um, the, the, the silver one and then I've got this black resin one as well, which exactly the same features. Um, and it comes with a black resin strap. Uh, slight difference here, as you can see on the face, the 10-year um, battery text is in red. It's probably not showing up very well on there, but the 10-year battery text is in red on that one, and it's in sort of white on this. Now, a lot of people do some modifications to these watches. Um, I've bought some um, filters myself. I'm thinking of maybe having a go at changing the screen color at some point, but a lot of people actually get a uh, like an alcohol swab or something and they take off the text around the outside and inside and actually um, get rid of a lot of the character if you ask me and I think it looks a bit uh, looks a bit daft um, I, I like the fact that Casio just plaster it with uh, with words why not leave it on there 
I like it. That's the way they've designed it, and that's that's what I like about it. There's no problem at all with that kind of stuff on there. And also, by not removing all of this stuff, it does differentiate it from the, the third-party um, fakes, knockoffs, homages, whatever you want to call them. So there's a company called Scamie that do, as you could see very clearly, very similar versions of this watch. And... Um, at a glance, it's very difficult to actually tell the difference. So the main differences are these are a little bit thicker and the information on the screen is slightly different. So this sort of analog function in the corner doesn't really work. Um, you don't have the uh, the world map. You have a big bit of text telling you what day of the week it is. So uh, I actually quite like these, I have to be honest. Um, the fact that they are quite often a fraction of the price, like a third of the price, half the price, that kind of sort of time uh, that that kind of um, that kind of ballpark uh, just means that they're a little bit more disposable, so to speak. So um, if I'm out doing stuff that might get a watch damaged, I tend not to wear my nice Casios. I've got a couple of uh, schemey watches that I will use in that kind of uh, in that kind of environment, and uh, they still look the part. Yet they uh, if they get damaged, I'm not too worried. Um, however, very quickly. Some people buy these watches specifically to do some modifications. So this is the main reason I bought this watch originally. As you can see, it's got the nice uh, metal strap and this, as you can imagine, fits perfectly onto here. I did do the changeover at one point, quite liked it. Um, it does obviously say on the clasp here, on the clasp, not that anybody's looking closely at your wrist, but um, I just decided, to be honest, that uh, I just take it off and if I want to wear a metal one I put the skimmy one on if I want to wear the resin one I'll put the uh, the illuminator on so uh, yeah there we have it really so that is the Casio Royale um, AE 1200WH it's one of my favorite Casios I actually say that about all my Casios, so um, I think maybe they're all my favourites. It's like having a favourite child. You can't really have a favourite child, can you? If you like this kind of video, then um, you know, write a comment, give us a thumbs up, please subscribe. It'd be great if you did, and I'm going to put some links in the uh, description below if you want to get one of these. There'll be affiliate links, which means if you go and buy via those links, um, Amazon or wherever I manage to find the affiliate links from will actually perhaps give me a few pennies and maybe allow me to buy some more watches. Who knows? Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.